Hi friends, thanks for tuning in. I don't know about you, but more than once I've thought that I deleted all my resources in AWS only to be surprised by a bill at the end of the month with charges for something that I forgot to delete or turn off. I've often wanted an easy delete all things button that would get rid of everything. And while unfortunately we don't have that, in this video I'll show you two ways to find and delete all your resources running in AWS. Let's go. I'm here in the AWS console, logged in as my root account, so that I can get to the billing information. One way you can find everything that's running in your environment is to use Cost Explorer. This is part of the cost management features. And you can either get there by clicking on the View and Cost Explorer button, or over here on the left, Cost Explorer. If this is the first time you're coming here, you will need to enable it, and then it'll take about 24 hours to start giving you data. But once you do, it's easy to see which services you're spending money on. There are two main sections of the screen that you can update to get to what you want. Over here on the right, we've got filters. And for my case, I do need to exclude some credits that I have. So for charge type, I will exclude credits. If you don't have those, don't worry about it. But any other filter over here, you would apply the same way. And then on this part of the screen up here, you can group by service, by account, by region, and so on. I've got it grouped by service here, so I can see that my main spend is the EC2 instances in purple. I've been using Forecast and SageMaker for some machine learning stuff, Security Hub, and so on. You can also narrow down your date range up here. So maybe I just want to go for the last three months instead apply. I can also see a daily view to see what I'm spending per day. And scrolling down, you can also get a day by day view here. So scrolling all the way over. I've actually shut several things down here, so I don't have any charges at the moment. But this is a really good way to see what's currently running. You can also look at the different regions. So if you want to group by region, I personally find that this throws me off sometimes where I'm used to working in one region and I kind of forget that I have things in another region. So here you'll see that I've actually got resources across multiple places. So this would clue me in to go look at those different regions to shut down my resources. So just to go through an example, you'll see that US East North Virginia is where I had the most activity. And if I were to group again by service and then filter over here on the right, to only include that, apply filters. Then I could say, okay, I've got EC2 instances. These are running in the North Virginia region. And then I could come into opening up a new tab here into EC2. and look at the instances. I don't actually have any now because I deleted mine earlier, but that's how you would go about finding things that are running and costing you money. All right, the second way you can find things that are running is to use the tag editor. You can get here by going to resource and then resource groups and tag editor. Tags are a way that you can organize your resources. So say that you wanted to tag all of your instances in a test environment or in a production environment and so on. And the tag editor over here lets you find all those resources that you might want to tag. But it's also a great way to just see in general what resources you have so that you can then go delete them. So here you can choose your region. I personally find it helpful to choose all regions here because again, I sometimes forget that I have things running in other regions. So we'll go with all regions. And then for resource type, you can go with all supported resource types. I'll just hit search resources here. This is going to come back with a ton of things, though. I don't have a lot running in this account, but you'll see that it comes back with multiple pages of resources. So a lot of different things around your EC2 instances. You'll see this is the actual instance right here. But then I have a lot of sort of ancillary things that come along with that. Those are all going to show up here. Not all of these would have a cost associated with them, obviously. And it's still coming back with results. I've got three pages at the moment. Still loading, though. So there's going to be a lot here. If you kind of have an idea of what you've been working with, say it's the EC2 instances, so I'll just type in EC2 to filter that down. And you only want to find the instances. Maybe you also want to find things in S3. So we'll go with S3 buckets. You can choose multiple resource types here. 
but I find this is a little bit more helpful than hundreds of things that don't necessarily have a cost associated with them. So if I search now and then scroll down, you'll see I do have two instances running now. I've got one in US West 2 and US East 2. Now again, I could open these up. I'll just right click and open in a new tab. And once I know they're running, it's super easy to go either shut them down or terminate them. So I'll select this one and go to instant state. And this one I'll terminate, which is going to blow away everything, hard drive included. So I'll terminate that. And then coming back here, I'll do the same for the second instance that's running. So again, there's not an easy button to just shut everything down, but I find that the hardest part is sometimes just finding what's running. I'll terminate that as well. And this tag editor is a really good way to find those resources. So I've got some S3 buckets here. I could go in and delete these as well, or whatever the service is. So that's it, two different ways to find your resources, and then you can go delete them in AWS. If you found this helpful, check out the AWS playlist for my other videos, and also consider subscribing to be notified when I upload new things. Thanks so much for watching.